Kappa. Flame. And whether their name's Kazali, Coventry or Kappa, they come and go as casually as fleeting romance. But for this 81-year-old, it's been a lifelong affair. He isn't so much Australia's oldest footy commentator as the world's most fervent groupie. Then I met Tommy when he was 19 and I felt that uh, football was his only interest, you know. He... Has he changed over the years? Got worse, I think. How long have you been going to the footy? No, since 1929. So in all that time, how many games would you have missed? One. One game? One game. Why was that? Well, Frida was uh, pretty sick at the time and uh, I was about to go and the doctor hadn't arrived and I wouldn't go until the doctor came. That would have hurt? Yes, it did. But uh, oh, I had to make a choice at that time. Was it a difficult one? No, it wasn't a difficult one. It wasn't a difficult one. I, I think, uh, looking back over it, and at any time, she'd be first choice for anything. Still looks a wonderful ground, wonderful memories. Frida and footy. The two loves in Tommy Layoff's life came together 62 years ago when Tommy was a tireless and talkative rover for Port Melbourne. This is the year I started. Port was a great place in those days. Local boys married local girls and everybody became that way. And uh, no transport like there is now. Everybody went to the same dances, the same picture shows and all those things like that. How did you meet Frida? I met Frida at a footy dance at, at Port. Tommy remembers his wedding day fondly, and why shouldn't he? Port trounced Willie that day, and Tommy played a ripper. And though the man's a saint, he doesn't drink nor smoke nor swear, as a player, he was an absolute scoundrel. Fiery, aggressive, he'd hit, kick, bite, scratch. Once when coaching, he was arrested by the constabulary. He went whack and put the handcuffs on me and marched me around the ground. On the footy ground? Yeah. What for? Well, uh, later on, he, uh, he charged me with uh, using uh, bad language in a public place. What and was the bad language? I called him a bludger. A bludger? Yeah. That's uh, pretty foul language, Tommy. Oh, it is for me. Now, before the game, I want to make sure you get the, the latest changes and the uppies, like you always do. It's on radio that millions of Aussie Rules fans know and love Tommy Layer. He's as much a cult as a commentator. Simon, the, the difference between the two sides at present has been the disposal. And North Melbourne... Uh... At the end of each game, for as long as anyone can remember, Tommy has soldiered off to the players' rooms to get the post-match interviews with the coaches and stars. I suppose you've made this journey a few times. Yeah, well, uh, if it's a big game, you've got to use the stairs because the lifts, if they have a, someone working the lift, you know, and they're using it all the time. But uh, on the easy game, it's still right, otherwise you're walking up the stairs all the time. Now, I get a lot of enjoyment out of meeting people in the out. A lot of people come up and speak to me in there, you know, and uh, I get a lot of enjoyment out of that. They want to talk to footy and kids want to talk to you and uh, it, it's a thrill at my stage to think the kids would come up and ask for an autograph. Next week again, no problem, no problem, the babies. Back to West Australia, you know what I mean? Yeah. No, good enough. No, good. Next babies. Good. Very good. good. Bye bye. It's legend that Tommy can get in anywhere places where other reporters and mere mortals have no hope. Ever been locked out? No, I haven't. I haven't. Might have had to wait a few minutes, but I've always been first in. Oi! Hey, Tom, I thought you could get in anywhere. Well, don't worry. 
Sorry, yeah, Tommy, but... come in. Come on, Tommy. Thank you, Tommy. I'll let you in any day, mate. Thanks, Tommy. No worries. There you go, fellas. Well, Tom, well, this tonight was one of the best matches I've seen North Melbourne play. Would you go wrong with that? Oh, you can't beat the old sin bonus, Tommy. There's no doubt about it. Well, I reckon that, you know, that we've come now around and we're going to go on with it. You think they can? Oh, I think we can to show a different good old-fashioned go. Old-fashioned it might be, but Tommy's sincerity makes him the man most likely to get the ear of football's newsmakers. Hello. 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 We have to put a good bob in, I think. How come Tommy gets through to people like you? Yes, can you hear me? Oh, I think everybody um, respects Tommy and what he's done for football for well, I've got, I don't know how many years now. now. And he's always very polite, he comes in, he respects uh, the privacy when he has to. Um, and, you know, everybody respects him and we're just prepared to do anything for Tommy. Hand me down there, Tommy. You there, Tommy? Yes, he's there, Smoke. I certainly am. Who have you got down there, boys? Well, I've got Jimmy Watson with me. Yeah, you haven't, have you? Yeah, I certainly He's have. a scallywag. Respect, I think, is vitally important, and uh, it's one thing that uh, Tommy's got from uh, all the league clubs is respect. I mean, he comes down and uh, what, he's one of the greats of the, uh, of the game, and of course, played in coach league footy. For all these glowing testimonials, there is one who bemoans Tommy's devotion to footy. After all, she is the longest suffering member of Melbourne's biggest club, the Football Widows. All your life you've not seen him of a Saturday or Sunday? No, and I haven't seen him of a Mother's Day since the association played on Sundays. How long ago was that? Oh, I don't know. I make my own arrangements for Mother's Day. He's never around. And what about Saturdays and Sundays? Make my own arrangement there or I'd be sitting in a corner, wouldn't I? So Frieda's resigned to waiting at home, waiting for an old timer who's still leaving the ground when the cleaners have already moved in. Tommy Layup just can't imagine life after football. Will you miss it, Tom, if you... Oh, this is it. Sure, I'll miss it. We like having all fun of my legs and there with it, eh? Yes, I'd miss it, there's no doubt about that. I'd be very happy to, to go forever, I think.